Hey guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Today's video, I'm going to be practicing my Halloween makeup. I'm going to be Tinkerbell for Halloween, and the makeup that I'm actually going to be doing is very similar to my everyday makeup, but I'm going to be adding like a few little touches of like glitz and glitter and stuff. So um, I thought I would just film um, how I plan on doing it. That way, if there's anything I don't like, I can like tweak it before Halloween. So that way on Halloween night, I have like my makeup exactly how I want it. Um, and then I also just wanted to film how I'm doing my makeup for Halloween and also get it up before Halloween. Because obviously if I film my makeup the day of Halloween, it's probably not going to be up on my channel until either late at night on Halloween night or like after Halloween actually is there. So I figured there's no point in filming it on the day of Halloween. I should do it a little before. So I am just gonna zoom you guys in and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some primer and like prepping my face. I'm going to use this Milk Makeup Blur Stick for like right here because that's, um, I get some like really big pores right there on my face and this is a good pore filling primer. And then I'm going to use MAC um, Strobe Cream and kind of put it on the outer areas of my face where my face gets really dry. This is kind of like a luminizing moisturizer. So let's go ahead and do that. This stuff works seriously so good. This Milk Makeup Blur Stick, like it's like the, your pores literally disappear right before your eyes. I love a good like silicone pore filling primer because um, I just think that they are really comfortable, especially when you put your makeup on. They just make your makeup feel really um, like slick and comfortable. But this just like, it totally just makes your pores disappear. Um, and I love it. And now, like I said, I'm just taking the MAC strobe cream and putting it on, I'm really concentrating it on like the outer areas of my face, but I am going to put just a tiny bit on top of where I just primed, um, just to brighten that area too. I don't really need it right there, but it just adds, um, a little bit of a glow, um, under your foundation. And then it also just helps moisturize because... I get really dry skin, especially right now during the fall time. It's getting cooler and my skin is getting drier, so I just want to make sure that I am good and prepped. And now I'm going to take a, um, what is this? Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and a Morphe Contour Sponge and use this all over my face um, as my foundation. This is my favorite foundation, but it is a very mattifying foundation. Um, so if you have dry skin, you, that, you gotta prep your face for this one. Um, but I just, I love this foundation. It's got the best coverage, in my opinion, of all the different foundations I've tried. This just has the best coverage, and it's so comfortable. Um, I know that, like, dewy foundations are better for my skin type, and I do like dewy foundations, but I just feel like matte foundations are so much more comfortable than dewy foundations. I love this since I do have dry skin I do have to you know prep my face a little extra to use it but I feel like it's absolutely worth it. Something that I notice whenever I go back to edit my videos is that I never blend my foundation very close to my hairline. I think it's because I don't want it to get in my hair um but then you know when I go back and edit the videos I'm like girl your foundation looks crazy because it stops like right here. So I'm just taking extra care today to make sure that it's blended up close to my hairline. Now I'm going to take the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer and just put a little bit of that on my under eyes and then I have this little pimple right here and I have scars right here from my eyebrow piercing and I don't really have a scar there. If you caught my vlogs a couple weeks ago, um, I recently removed a mole on my nose. And so there's not really a scar there, but you can tell that the skin right there is still healing. I probably shouldn't be putting makeup on it, but oh well. It's pretty much like, it's most of the way healed, but like you can tell that the skin right there is still like, it's still peeling away slowly. And then for setting powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm actually going to use this crown brush set that I got in my FabFitFun recently. I haven't used it yet, but um, I desperately 
need to clean all of my other brushes so that's pretty much the only reason why I'm using it right now because I've been too lazy to clean all my other brushes and um, if you watched my last video I did like a witchy look and it was like very dark makeup and I used quite a few brushes to make that look and so now all of my brushes are like black and purple and blue so I'm busting out these guys and this is very soft this is the crown brush I don't see a number on it it's the big a big fluffy brush and it's super soft and then for contour today I'm going to use the Hoola bronzer from Benefit this is easily becoming um, one of my favorite bronzers. I think um, I still like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer a little more. I think it just blends better, but this is a very close second favorite. And again, I'm using like an angled contour brush from the Crown Brush Set from FabFitFun. Um, I, this does not have a name on it. So I apologize, and shameless self-promo, I do have a FabFitFun affiliate code. Um, so if you want to sign up, you can use my affiliate code and, or my affiliate link, and then I have the code Pumpkin Spice, which gets you $10 off your first box. And I do make money through that affiliate code. So, you know, just a little self-promo since we're talking about the box. And I'm gonna take this like fluffy brush from Crown Brushes and just do a little contour on my nose. I don't really know if like nose contour really does anything for me. I could just be doing it wrong. You know, I just don't know if it's, if it's doing anything. Does my nose look straighter? I don't know. I, I think I've broken my nose like two or three times. I never like went to the doctor to assess if it's broken, but there's been several times in my life where um, I've gotten like hit or knocked or something in the nose and it feels broken. But it was never like horrible enough to go see a doctor. So who knows, maybe it was just bruised. Um, next I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. This is my favorite blush of all time. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on with the same angled contour brush I just used. And then I think I'm gonna save highlight for later today. Usually um, I'll put my highlight on right now, but I'm just gonna save it for later because I don't want any of it to like, I don't wanna risk any of it getting knocked off. So I'm gonna do brows next. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in combination with my Smashbox Brow Tech Shaping Powder. Um, and so let's just do that. The Anastasia Brow Wiz really is so great for getting like the shape that you want because like since the little pencil part is so thin you just have so much control and then i like to use the brow tech um shaping powder from smashbox to just draw in some little lines if you've been around you know how i do it and now we're going to move on to eyeshadow i'm going to be using a combination of this palette it's the around the world palette from cargo cosmetics i haven't used it in a long time but this was my favorite palette for a very long time it's like a very neutral cool toned palette and then i'm going to also be using the jaclyn hill armed and gorgeous palette and i'm only going to be using this green because it is a tinkerbell look so i just want to use like a tiny hint of green. The green might not even show up very well because um, I think that is like one of the colors in the palette that's harder to work with. But I think I'm gonna start by taking this color London, which is kind of like a light taupey color and put that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take New York which is this color right here, and just kind of put that in the crease. Oh gosh, I love these colors. Do you ever like not use a palette for a while and like you forgot how much you loved it? These just, they blend so well. I really wanna try some more palettes from Cargo Cosmetics. I think I've tried a few things from them. I can't remember what, like maybe some blushes or something but this palette is like just amazing. And then this color also does have like the slightest bit of shimmer in it. 
And now I think here is where I'm going to try the color Top Secret from the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I'm just going to go over what I just did with that just very lightly. So I just want a t the tiniest hint of green since it is Tinkerbell. I'm just going to blend that in. And I'm almost blending it kind of slightly under that New York color. That actually goes really nice with that New York color. This is like something I would do for, you know, every day. Now I'm going to take um, a different brush and I'm going to go back in with New York. Um, I'm just going to blend the outer edge out a little bit so it's not so structured. And like I'm literally just dabbing it into the color like this just to get the slightest bit of pigment on just to help blend it. Now I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and put New York on that brush and do put it right under my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take Top Secret, the green color again, and just do that on the outer edge of my lower lash line, just right there, kind of connect it to my upper eyeshadow, my phone's going off, I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. And then I'm just going to take a brush and blend that. And now I'm actually going to take this white eyeliner. This is from NYX. It is um, just white. That's the name of it. It's just white. And I'm going to put this on my bottom waterline because that kind of opens up your eyes and it makes them look bigger. And then I'm going to take this Stila liquid eyeshadow. This is in the color Wanderlust and I'm going to put that on my lid and do kind of like a half cut crease. So this adds like a pop of glitter. This really reminds me of Tinkerbell because um, it's like pixie dust. And then just give that a second to dry. And now I'm going to take Top Secret again and just kind of go um, on the outer edge of that glitter. Just to like blend it a bit more on this edge. Because it's kind of like a half cut crease. Um, and so that way it's like more of a half cut crease. It doesn't look like it just ends randomly. It has more of a... Uh, I don't know, not necessarily a shape to it, but it just blends better right here. And then I'm going to take my Tarte Tartiest um, eyeliner and I'm going to do a wing. I do love these Stila glitters, but for some reason it's really hard to do eyeliner on top of them. I think it's because the glitter is like so chunky it's kind of hard to get the eyeliner straight on top of it because the glitter is kind of um, in the way so my wings aren't even at all but you know what else is new and false eyelashes would usually do a good job covering that but first I'm going to take this hypnos drama mascara from Lancome and just pop some of that on doing the bottom lashes as well and then I'm taking these kiss lashes they are um, pixie 02 lashes I have not used these before but they say pixie and I'm gonna be a uh, Tinkerbell why is what is the difference between pixies and fairies because um, Tinkerbell is typically called a fairy but she lives in Pixie Hollow and she uses Pixie Dust. So are they the same thing? I have no idea. So I think I'm gonna need to trim these. Actually, it might be okay. I might not need to trim them. Mm. 
Yeah, I think these are the slightest bit too long, like just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit too long. But that's why we're practicing today, so that on Halloween, now I know better. They just need a tiny, tiny, tiny bit trimmed off the end. I was kind of afraid these would be too dramatic because normally I use the natural Ardell Wispies. Um, and these are a bit more, yeah, like dramatic than those eyelashes. I actually really like them. They're like just dramatic enough without being like too much. Cause some eyelashes on me, they just kind of take over. And then like, I feel like they hide my eyes. Yeah, this is just the tiniest bit too long, but it's okay for now. Now I'm gonna do lips and I'm going to use the Too Faced Child Star Lipstick, which is my very, very favorite. Does anyone else like doe foot applicators always tickle my lips? Does anyone else have that problem? And then I'm going to take this NYX Whipped and Fouet. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a lip and cheek color and it's in Pink Cloud and I'm just gonna put that um, kind of like in the middle of my lips. So I feel like fairies have, you know, pinky lips. So that just makes them look like the slightest bit pink. Now I'm going to do highlight and I'm going to use the Artist Couture and Illuminati. This is the best highlight in the world. And I'm just going to brush this right here on my cheekbones. Look at that. Last year I was a unicorn for Halloween. And I actually filmed a favorites video in my costume. So I will link it down below if you want to see my costume. But I used a lot of highlight for that because, again, it was like a glittery look. And, um... I just like, my face was like glowing. I loved the way it came out. And this is the highlight I used. So I'm just putting a little on my forehead. I think I'll even put like a little on my chin and jawline. Cause fairies are sparkly too, right? Oh, I should have put this on before I did lipstick. There, I'll just put a tiny bit. Now what I'm going to do is I have these little gems. These are actually nail gems. But I have a like lime green color right here. I don't know if you guys can see. But I'm gonna take the lime green gems and a little bit of clear um, eyelash glue. I just kinda wanna put them like right here above my highlight. I don't want them too close to my eye because I don't wanna risk them like getting into my eye. Just gonna put it right there. I don't know if you guys can see. I should have zoomed in this much when I was like doing my eye makeup, I'm sorry. I'm just going to put it right there. I think I'm going to do three on each side. Can you guys see that? You have to move in like the light in order for you to pick it up. There's just some like little green gems right there. I have a feeling that like on actual Halloween, I'm going to end up like knocking these off before the night is over. So they're not like perfectly evenly spaced, but they just add a little something extra. I'm kind of using like my highlight as a stencil of where to put them. So I'm kind of angling them in the same direction that my highlight goes. Okay, now I wanna do some stuff on like my chest area, but first I think I'm gonna do my hair. Okay, so my hair is already in a bun, but I want it to be more of like a Tinkerbell bun. So first thing, I'm gonna like tease it so I have a little bit um, more volume up top. So I'm just gonna tease like my bangs. It's not gonna be like perfectly teased or anything. So I'm just taking like a brush like this and brushing it backwards. Teasing is not good for your hair, by the way. 
So I'm just going to do that and then just kind of brush it back. I don't know if that actually gave it any more volume, but and then kind of make the back and the sides more smoothed. So I have like as few little bumps as possible. Um, my hair is curled though right now, so that might make it a little hard. Then I'm gonna put it um, in a ponytail. Like a high pony. And then I'm, the frontal, I'm just gonna pull on it a little bit to give it a little more volume. And then I'm going to take this sock, which I cut a hole in it. I'm gonna use this as a sock bun. Now they like sell things, like um, things that you can do this with to do your buns. But when I was in dance back in the day, we didn't have that, so we used actual socks. And so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna put my hair through that hole and then I'm gonna bring it up. My ponytail is still there. Then I'm going to like wrap my hair and kind of like stick it in the bun part. I know this looks crazy right now, but it's going to come out good. And this makes it so easy. And then I'm going to slowly take the sock and roll it down. And when I roll it down, my hair is like getting stuck in the sides and then every once in a while I just kind of clean it up again take my hair stuff it in there again and then roll it down again see right here it's kind of messy so I'm going to stuff it in again keep rolling it down and then once I get it to like my head I'm going to move my hair so that it covers all of the sock and that it's kind of more even. Pull my hair apart so it's kind of like tighter. And there is my Tinkerbell bun. And that's just a really way, easy way to do a sock bun um, without using bobby pins. And then of course you can use bobby pins to clean it up in some areas. I can't see the back right now, but like you guys can see the back, I think. So like I think the sock is showing in part of the back so for that I would just use a bobby pin and that is the super easy way to get a sock bun and I'm actually going to pull out more right here for a little more volume and that's it easy quick sock bun and now I think I'm actually going to put my dress on and um, throw on some earrings and then I'm going to do some things to my chest area for this costume. Okay, so for this next part, I want to give the illusion that my boobs are bigger. And then I also want to kind of accentuate my collarbones because that also gives the illusion um, that it like makes you look skinnier. So I'm going to take the Hula Bronzer again. And I'm just going to take a bronzing brush. And there are a lot of tutorials of this on YouTube. And I'm going to just kind of go around my boob like this. And kind of gives it a little bit of dimension and makes it look a little perkier. Then I'm just gonna blend it out so it doesn't look like I have like these bronzed lines on my boob. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my collarbones. I'm gonna like kind of flex them so I can see where I need to put this. I'm going to put it on like the top and bottom of where my collarbone is. So see when I like unflex, it looks, it's like more accentu accentuated, accentuated. And do the same thing on this side. And I just like to do this whenever I wear like sexy dresses that show a lot of skin. I feel like it just makes like my areas of skin that are exposed look, I don't know, like better. And I'm just blending that out. I feel like that looks a lot more like dark on camera than it is in real life. In real life, the lines here and the lines here don't look as obvious as they do on camera. Then I'm going to take that same Artist Couture highlighter and I'm just going to dust it on my collarbones. 
And I actually really love having like glittery collarbones. So I'm going to put quite a bit on my collarbones. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush just to blend it. This especially looks like really good in pictures. And then I'm just going to lightly dust some on the part of my boob that doesn't have contour. That's like right under the contour. And then the final part of this is I have some of these Mr. Kate, um, what are these called? Beauty marks. And these are the like sparkly freckles. They're like um, temporary tattoos. And so I think I'm going to take some of these. I think I kind of want to put them like on my shoulder, upper arm area, just to kind of look like pixie dust. So I'm going to cut these out and just put them on like you would a temporary tattoo, like with a wet cloth. And then this also comes with these ones right here, which are also silver. And they look more like rounded freckles. And I actually like those ones better. So I'm going to save those ones for actual Halloween. And then I'm using these ones. Um, which are kind of like, uh, I don't know, more like randomized shapes. I'm going to put it like right here. Like right there. And I'm taking a wet cloth and just pressing it down. Because in my head, I feel like this will help look like pixie dust. And it's just like a little added glitter special for Halloween. Um, I've had these Mr. Kate beauty marks for years. They're made um, like from the YouTuber, Mr. Kate, who does like home design um, and stuff here on YouTube. And I pretty much only ever use them on New Year's and 4th of July. But um, I thought this would be a good reason to bust them out. And I still have like a couple left on here, so I'm just going to just kind of press it on. There we go. So they look like that. Just, you know, some little glitter. And then I'll do this side, and I'm trying to, going to try to get it in about the same spot. And I got them all off in one thing this time. So there we go for my body. And let's go ahead and show you my whole outfit. Okay, guys. So that is it for this video. Here is the finished look outfit, shoes, um, glitter and hair and all. I can't wait to how till Halloween when I can actually like do this and wear it out. Except on Halloween, I'm going to be wearing flats and like stockings because I am going to take my kids trick or treating and I don't want to look like this, you know, when I'm out taking my kids trick or treating. But here it is. I feel like I'm a little too old for this actually. Um, I feel like I look more like the fairy godmother from Shrek 2 than I look like Tinkerbell, but you know what? She's still cute. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys.